I want to ask you about the, your committee's subpoena to Donald Trump Jr. Uh, given that it's highly unlikely that uh, Mr. Trump will appear before your committee in person, what was the point of issuing the subpoena? I'm not going to, as those of you who trail after me on the, the Hill on a regular basis, I'm not going to talk about uh, our process of which witnesses we've called before us and what we will do on a going forward basis. And you all can ask that as many ways as you'd like. I'm going <laughs> to kind of give you this, stay with the same answer. I would point out that um, witnesses we've called early in the investigation, we've always res reserved the right to call them back. And many of those witnesses, even significant ones, mm -hmm. have, have come back <clears throat> uh, because I think they feel um, my sense is an obligation to allow us to finish this, this effort. Hacking information and releasing it and weaponizing it, they assaulted our election systems and at attempted to attack all 50 states. <laughs> but the, the remarkable thing is almost every path we've led to has, has opened up more people, more contacts, more connections. Uh, I guess on a um, good news, bad news, uh, 90 to 95% of what Mueller had determined uh, in terms of the contacts and efforts of the Russians to interfere in our elections, we had that information. And we will have um, other areas that will, will frankly be uh, much more extensive than what Mueller had and much more. Uh, <coughs> much more descriptive about the organized, ongoing effort. And that Jeremy, you're a, you're a great expert on congressional process. You probably know those remedies better than I. So. Well, one, we have to finish our investigation before we write the report. And we have to get all of the answers from uh, folks that we've called or want to call back or uh, continuing information. We also, I don't know how you would kind of finish that without, and I think we, unlike other committees, because of our intelligence oversight responsibilities, because this was a counterintelligence investigation, need to see the underlying evidence that we may not have collected that Mueller has. Uh, because if our, what we're tasked with is, is less the, the, a finding on the various C word descriptions and more a finding on saying, how do we make sure this doesn't happen again? And if we can't get all of the evidence that Mueller had in terms of counterintelligence, then we can't make the kind of report and recommendations that we need to make in terms of how we prevent this from happening. Have you asked for that evidence? We are, uh, we are, um, uh, our requests for information are ex very, very extensive and we've tried to cover all our bases. Mm. Like I said at the outset, you can ask that question as many